Another lent dinner or simple recipe of soy ceviche, ceviche de soya. You'll need the following veggies. You'll need tomatoes, onions, and chile. This is a kind of chile I used, serrano, or the other kind. I have two lemon here, but I actually put four lemons, these big ones. And you will need ketchup. And you will need some salt. Where is my salt? There is my salt. And you will need, of course, the bag of the carne de soya, or as we know, texture soy protein. This recipe is really easy to do, and it's almost like having ceviche, but you're not really having any meat. And you'll do the following with all of this stuff. We're going to put water in one of our big hands right here on really high so the water boils fast. Once it's boiled or semi-boiled, really hot, we're going to add our soy protein into the water. We're going to leave it in the water boiling for 10 minutes. Just 10 minutes after that, we'll turn it off. We will turn it off and then leave it there just for another uh, 10 to 15 minutes. So a total of 20 to 25 minutes in the water for the uh, soy to be here. And then make sure that like when you're done you, you're going to need a strainer again right here you need to be careful that it doesn't like overflows because when you leave it there it flows all the way to the top and this is how the meat looks now already cooked on the water for those 10 minutes look i spilled it a little bit because i wasn't careful and uh we are going to grab it carefully after it has Sit it there for the other 10 to 15 minutes. We're going to grab it carefully and transfer it over to the sink where our strainer is at and put some cold water as well there. So we'll transfer it to the strainer carefully and cautiously because it is hot. With 10 minutes, the thing still burns you. After we have transferred all the soy into the strainer there, we kind of move it a little bit around and we'll add the cold water so it gets, it doesn't become puree if you will. And I just moved it again a little bit, make sure that it's not sticking to each other even though it's going to stick anyways. I just like to do that. After that, we make sure that we take all the water out of it and then I'm just moving it so the water that it is out, uh, that is in the strainer comes out. So I give it a shake. So the water says goodbye and I just simply transfer it over to my container where I have my veggies. This is good for like for four people to eat really good and um, it's uh, about four servings I believe so if you put it I'm gonna eat it in a bowl with tostada so I could serve myself twice if I wanted to eat completely and I'm here mixing my ceviche or my soy with my veggies having all the tomatoes onions and chile well combined you can easily add any other veggies that you like here I just like this Mexican flag, as you know, green, I mean red, white, and green. I will add my lemons. I was looking for a lemon squisher, but I did not find it. So I squished it with my hands, all the four lemons, which by the way, lemons here in California are super expensive. And then we'll add some ketchup. And then this is like to your desire, whatever is that you like. Um, I just added a bunch and then you mix as well and the salt and the ketchup it, it really is on your however you like I don't have a measurement for this all of the other like the tomatoes were about three tomatoes have a very small onion 
and uh, four chiles. And these, we mix it all up with the ketchup, make it all red and delicious. And we'll add our salt and mix again. And this is a great recipe. It really tastes really, really yummy when you don't want to eat meat or when you just want to do something really quick. It only cooks in 10 minutes. Mix it up and make sure you cover it up. I didn't cover it here, but make sure you cover it up. Put it in the refrigerator for uh, at least an hour before you eat it. Right here, I almost forgot to record, but I have here my plate. I also added some avocado, and I'm eating it with tostadas and a huge um, glass of Pepsi. Yes. Here's the avocado showing you. And our, it's almost gone. That's how it look after. It's really yummy. Hopefully you like it and you do it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.